Hi, I'm Santosh uh, Koppa. I started uh, my graduation, I mean... So you're doing PhD in yeah. electrical engineering? Yeah, I'm doing PhD in electrical engineering. I started with master's degree uh, in UTSA and then continued with my PhD. So you're in University of Texas, San Antonio? Yeah, I'm in... And uh, uh, when did you join the master's program here? I joined in uh, fall 2007. Okay. And uh, then uh, after you got your master's, you converted to PhD? Yes, I started doing my PhD. Okay. And uh, I'll be graduating in December 2016. Okay, so you're doing PhD. Yes. So, um, can you tell us where you did undergrad? I did my undergrad in India, uh, Bangalore Vishweshwar Technology of University in 2003. Oh, I see. Which uh, college? Uh, university, Vishweshwar University of Technology. With you, but yeah. which college? Uh, it was AMC Engineering College. I see. So, um, what was your undergraduate GPA? Uh, I don't know the GPA, but my percentage was uh, like uh, s s 68%. I see. So, uh, where all did you apply for masters? For masters, I applied in California State University and uh, which Cal State University? Uh, Long Beach, and had the acceptance. And uh, I applied in UTSA and I applied in UT El Paso also. But I was pretty late in my applications. Like mm -hmm. I had almost crossed uh, deadlines of most of the universities. So you picked UT San Antonio. I picked UT San Antonio, uh, San Antonio compared to UT. Uh, uh, California State University Long Beach. A lot of people prefer to be in California because of job prospects. Why did you pick? Uh, uh, I did not think that way because uh, uh, I felt this university has more research opportunity compared to California State University. I checked mm -hmm. their website like uh, they had good job, good opportunities for PhD students but not for master students in the research field. Okay. So I chose this university. I see. So when you came for masters, uh, like um, did you um, have any funding? Yes, uh, right from the first semester I had funding because I had work experience. So, uh, How many years work experience? I have more than three years experience. I see. So uh, what about your GRE and TOEFL? Uh, I had GRE uh, 1,150 and TOEFL I had uh, 99 out of 120. Okay. So, um, like, um, so after master's straight away you started for PhD? Yes. So where all did you apply for PhD? I did not apply anywhere because I was working with my uh, master's professor so I continued. Only in yeah. UT San Antonio. Yes, UT San so, what kind of research do you do? I'm working right now on uh, low power uh, 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 implantable uh, devices. Implantable? Yeah. Like what kind of implants? Hearing implants? Like, uh, uh, not hearing, uh, it's about uh, pacemakers. Ah, those kind I see. Of things. Uh, it's basically, I'm, I'm not working on the medical side, but I'm just working on the electrical, like electronic side, like how to reduce the power consumption in the electronic circuits. Mm -hmm. So, did you do any internships during your PhD? No. So, uh, you're graduating in the another uh, one month? Yes. December 2016? Yes. So, do you have a job offer yet? No, I, I'll be start applying now. I'll start applying now. Are you applying for like academic or industry? Uh, I'll, I'll do for both, academic as well as for industry. I mean, usually people ha hang on to PhD till they get a placement, right? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. But do you uh, want to graduate? Hmm? You want to graduate? Yeah, I'll be start applying. So, uh, I'm pretty confident that I'll get a job. Get, so. I see. Okay. So, uh, where, where do most of the PhD students get placements here at UT San Antonio? Uh, I don't know about others, but uh, I in know like my, my, my I know a couple of students who got faculty job in uh, where? California State University, Rochester University. Where? Which Cal State? My, uh, Fullerton, I guess. I see. And, uh, and so, uh, where do they get an in industry? In industry, I have seen a lot of people getting into, like especially in my research, they get into Apple, um, Amazon, Intel. And a uh, couple of programming jobs also. Okay. So, uh, on 5 Star, how do you rate your experience here as a PhD student? Uh, as a PhD student with my current advisor, I rate uh, uh, 5 stars. I see. So, anything you wish could be better? Uh, uh, for PhD students, I think, um, especially in my department, we have to pay uh, tuition fees. Really? E PhD after, also? Yes. Even after getting... Uh, uh, for, funded by professor, we still have to pay uh, tuition fee to the university. That's very strange, right? Uh, yeah, because usually PhDs, they get full funding. Yeah, we get... But as masters, you had full funding. Uh, masters, the same thing. Masters and PhD, there is no difference. We, everybody... So they pay you for like doing research or teaching ATA. Yes. But tuition, you still have to pay. Yes. Every student here has to still pay institution fee. All the PhD students? All the PhDs, all the masters. Really? All the PhDs? Yes. Nobody gets funding? I don't know about other... Like especially from the department, if we get teaching assistants, we still have to pay uh, tuition fees. But I know a couple of my friends uh, in different universities, uh, when they got uh, uh, 
like any funding or any kind of uh, assistance ship from the department they get complete waiver tuition mm -hmm. fee waiver so they don't have to pay anything and they more mainly focus on uh, research and teaching those kind yeah of usually in most of the university students yeah. don't pay anything for phd yeah. they get a stipend yeah right? we get money this is very strange yeah we get money or so we, we how much did it cost you for the phd program to pay your tuition so uh, in a semester probably i get like five thousand dollars as a ta in semester and we pay almost four and a half thousand for institution fee so really? most oh. of the money goes to the tuition fee okay so we don't save much money yeah so why is there such a tight funding situation mm, i don't know like we we all is it depending only for your advisor or uh, no, no 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 it nothing entire department. To advisor it's to the all students so you knew department. that the, there is no like funding tuition waiver and you still wanted to do a phd uh, at that time i did not know when i got the scholarship letter uh, uh, the then money, you money sounded good but when i started doing but uh, when i started doing my phd we had to pay tuition fee that was strange like we had to pay so you didn't know it before no so, so in the offer letter they didn't specify it no in the offer letter it was just the scholarship for a year but it was uh, no mention about maybe you didn't read it very carefully yeah no <laughs> no no uh, there was no mention but uh, they didn't mention that you had to pay your tuition fee yeah so it's it very was, strange it, the the uh, offer letter was just about uh, the scholarship that i'll be receiving scholarship and i have to register full time as a student to get that scholarship so they didn't mention the tuition so no. you uh, you assumed there was no tuition i mean uh, i did not think too much i think i uh, at that point and later you realized you had to pay yeah. and then and, uh, you didn't, want, actually, to, you didn't want to back off so you wanted to still because i already stepped into it so i didn't want to back off but eventually like there were many students in my same position i think in uh, different departments it might be different but there were other phd students we collaborated we spoke and then we uh, uh, we raised the issue telling uh, we need to get at least some kind of benefits mm -hmm. I mean, uh, either increase their uh, pay scholarship or uh, uh, give the tuition waiver but uh, nothing has happened since then oh i see yeah. yeah i'm sorry to hear that but you still gave it a five star because uh, with my professor with the experience with the research all those things uh, i still happy with the have, research yeah okay so how do, what kind of advice you have for future students future students um, i say uh, it, it, it depends on them and their advisor so uh, so do you recommend this program yes okay uh, uh, i'm giving five star only with uh, my professor but because of your advice yeah i'm not i'm not sure about other you seem to have had a very good rapport with him yeah and uh, i don't know about other students or uh, regarding the finance probably the stars will go down but uh, with my advisor uh, so it's still five star yeah. okay so thank you and wish you all the best in your thank career thank you very much